All right, so um, I've been trying to really refrain from making this video only because I'm not even sure if it's worth talking about because the Giants really don't have that much money to spend this uh, this off season. Um, we're gonna have to move around a lot of guys in order for us to add some people in. Um, so, you know, for agency starts, what? A little over a week, I believe around the 15th, that's when the negotiation period starts. Um, honestly, at this point, we know the main issues right now is trying to retain Leonard Williams and Dalvin Tomlinson, which, I mean, at this point, it looks almost impossible. The Giants really don't have that much money to spend. Um, I, I honestly see, if, if I had to make a prediction, I see one of the two getting tagged and then the other one, the other one just walking in for agency. I, I just do not think the Giants have enough money to lock up both players. Um, so with that being said, I do believe Dalvin Tomlinson will be the guy to walk away in for agency. I mean, the Giants just simply don't really pay their nose tackles, you know? Um, we we kind of, we draft or we sign nose tackles and then we replace them after a while, you know? We did it with uh, Linvo Joseph. Uh, we did it with Jonathan Hankins. We did it with uh, Damon Harrison. You know, that's just not something we do. We don't give contracts out to nose tackles. So... Um, I definitely do not see, if we're going off of the Giants' history, we're, I'm just not seeing Dalvin Tomlinson actually being re-signed, um, which is, sucks, because, I mean, the man literally gets better every year. Um, you know, him, Leonard Williams, and uh, James Bradbury were easily the best players on our team this season, and uh, it's sad, but I, I don't see Dalvin Tomlinson being a Giant next season. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but we'll see. As for Leonard Williams, I don't even think the Giants can really afford to get rid of Leonard Williams. I mean, he was our sack leader. He had a phenomenal season. Uh, I mean, if there's any guy that you're going to have to pay out of all your free agents, it's, you, you might want to have to pay Leonard Williams, you know? So I see him getting tagged again. Um, and will he be tagged and traded? I don't know. Um, I do think the Giants could get a pretty good amount of picks for him if they tag and trade him, at least the first-round pick. Uh, personally, if they tag and trade him, I personally would want them to get another defensive lineman back, but that's, that would probably be unlikely to happen. So uh, at this point, I just hope that we do retain Leonard Williams. I, I definitely think that signing is more important than the Dalvin Tomlinson signing. Uh, which that might be an unpopular opinion amongst Giants fans, but that's that's just my opinion. Um, as for incoming players, we don't really have that much money. Um, hopefully the Giants cut Nate Solder and we can get some cap space back. We already started cutting some players, Golden Tate, David uh, David Mayo. They're no longer with the team anymore. You know, they, they're probably going to move on from Kevin Zeitler, which is very depressing because... You know, with Kevin Zeitler, all you really have to do is, draft, is uh, you know, get a center, whether through the draft or through free agency, and get a bona fide right tackle, and, and the Giants will have a pretty okay offensive line. But, <sighs> I mean, if you trade or, or uh, release Kevin Zeitler, you're you're going to have to replace him as well. So, which sucks. It, it really sucks to do in the middle of a. Uh, uh, of a very evident offensive line rebuild that we've been doing for the past two years. Uh, I, I hope the Giants bring in an actual right tackle. Personally, I think we already have our right tackle, Matt Pert, who I thought should have been starting the whole season. I don't know what the fuck uh, any of those damn coaches is doing. I thought Matt Pert should have been starting the entire damn season. But... Uh, I, I do believe he will be our starting right tackle next season. If not, I hope that means the Giants actually spent the first round pick or uh, or actually brought in a like a Pro Bowl caliber fucking tackle. You know, um, that would be nice. Um, as for the wide receiver position, that seems to be the big circle position because the Giants. 
I mean, especially with us releasing Golden Tate, Daniel Jones don't got anyone to motherfucking throw to, you know? So, um, I'm going to be straight up honest. I'm not a huge fan of signing a, a major wide receiver in free agency. I think the Giants need to use free agency to uh, really build the foundation of this team. You know, this offensive line, this uh, try to keep your defensive line together, sign a linebacker, you know, to, to put with uh, Blake Martinez, uh, maybe sign a, 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 a strong corner number two to play opposite of uh, James Bradbury. That's what I want the Giants to really do in free agency. As for, like, those sexy-ass little picks, you know, like like wide receiver and, and, and fucking pass rush and shit. Like, I think those positions should be addressed in, in, uh, in the draft in the first round, first and second round. Um, and I hope the Giants do. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a fan of us going out and getting a, a Kenny Galladay or, or a Juju Smith Schuster or any of like, I think the Giants try to get a wide receiver in the draft. That's just as my opinion. I think, I think our first round pick should be a wide receiver. Um, you know, uh, as for our quarterback position, I'm not sold on Daniel Jones, <laughs> but Jones did play on a sorry ass fucking offense last season. So, you know, hopefully we can get him some damn help. And honestly, if we get him some help and get him some good receivers, I think we can actually, you know, truly judge Daniel Jones for once, you know, and, and give him a genuine, a genuine like grading, you know, a genuine rating. Because right now, his offense is too damn inconsistent for us to really say if he's good or bad or not. Um, in his defense. Personally, the fucking Buccaneers game, which I'm still fucking hot about, the, the Giants-Bucks game from earlier last season, that shit was enough for me to know that Daniel Jones is knocked the fuck in, okay? And I hope I'm fucking wrong. Yes, I know players have bad fucking games. I get it. But the motherfucker had a terrible-ass fucking season. So, um... But, you know, I, I just hope the Giants really do this use this free agency in this draft to build around your young quarterback. So that way, if he's fucking garbage again, the next fucking quarterback you bring in, he doesn't have to be running for his fucking life or, or having no one to fucking throw to and all that fucking shit. Right. So that's what I hope the Giants do this fucking offseason uh, ahead of free agency. Oh, and one more thing. Get Evan Ingram off this fucking team. I like I don't give a shit what you trade him for. Get him off this fucking team. Um, so there you fucking have it. Let's fucking go Giants, I guess.